So we're day two, the 21st of September. They're on this, as I say, two days, two acres. And they have it well it. Now the plan is I'm going to move them this evening. I should be moving them now. But I have given them a couple of squares of hay just to tie them over until I get help this evening. And they're actually glad to get it. This time of the year, with the wishy-washy grass, it's kind of good to give them a little bit of uh, roughage alongside that, uh, that wet grass. So I decided that I'd give them a little bit of hay, hold them up for another half day, and move them onto some sweet grass up the road. So that is the situation. I'm amazed by how anxious they were for it. They're not hungry, only that, I suppose, as I say, to balance out their stomachs. Slow down the, uh, slow down the dung. Actually, now that I look at it here, we can see that it's a small bit runny on some of them. So very good, so I'm gonna go away now. I've all fenced on the next paddock. I still haven't noticed, um, I still haven't noticed the advantage to having the smaller hair just yet. They seem to be eating as much as quick. So um, we'll know as we go through the land in the next few weeks what the situation is. But I do not want to come to a stage where I'm overstocked and running out of grass. The plan is 12 months of the year grazing alongside a little bit of hay and silage over the winter time. So yeah, I'm going to get out of here before all that hay is gone because they will be looking to be moved in. Yeah, we have sun today. Showers are not too far away. We had lots of rain, but we're used to that. There's something very comforting about watching and listening to cattle eat away when they're quiet. Let me go over here. Yeah, they have this place well lit. So that's the first bit of uh, the first bit of fodder we've done, and we're only the twenty-first of September. But that's okay. Saturday, the twenty-third, evening time. Uh, I'm in with our new postcode cattle. And I'm just thinking to myself, they have been in here. I'll just wheel around. They have been in here for 23 days. They came in here the 31st of August. I just checked back on my uh, my notes on my videos. So they're in the last little cell, I left them into this last night. So they have another 24 hours in here. It's the largest of the cells that I have been giving them in this little two acre field. So that's what it's like after I move them, and that's what they came into. Well, it's they've been on it for 24 hours now, so another 24 hours. And as I did with the cattle below, well, I'm actually going to fit this in between. I'm actually just back from the main herd, so I'll stick this in the middle and show you what I was at about 10 minutes ago. So I'm going to probably give these a square bale of hay tomorrow and allow them to munch up that coarse ish stuff. But I'm going to bring them home then to the back of the house where there's lovely, uh, lovely lush green grass and clover for them. So as you know, lead cow is going and skinny Claire is going. And then we have two lovely replacements for them. We have her twin almost, who's super quiet as well. Except when they say she strangers. Molly, I'll talk to you in a minute. And we have Skinny Claire's lovely Rowan Heifer as well. So she will be kept also. So they're the two replacements I'm keeping after two cows that's going. 
<laughs> and then the two bulls will go eventually. Oh, go easy, will you? <laughs> and Maverick Ella. Which I know nothing about. I don't know what she's at. But she's after quieting down. She was, she's definitely not as quiet as the actual Maverick. But uh, she is an Angus out of a Jersey cow. But she's doing well. She's actually put on a bit of a hairy winter coat there now as well. So she's... Uh, She's looking all right. And this one I think is improving too. Definitely starting to thrive. She's full looking anyhow. The two cows are looking well. Um, Lee cow has been coming bulling. She was bulling two days ago as well, so just as well she's going because she's not holding the ear. Now she was bulled again, but she might hold and she might not. We'll see. There's no panic with selling them yet, anyhow. So I will go back down to the cattle, which I've already been, but on this I will show you now. So we are Saturday evening, the 23rd of September. So I'm, after bringing them back up to this land here, I brought them up the road the other day, so they're here two days. And what I'm still doing is I am supplementary feeding them a couple of squares of hay. So they've been on this upper side for one day. I give them the lower side for day two. And by right, they should be moved across the fence uh, this evening. But what I'm doing is at the minute, I'm trying to slow down the herd and get the grass growing or to see what growth I have for Pile, stockpile grazing for the winter time so that's why I'm feeding them the bit of hay and the bit of hay is good as well I suppose also to keep their stomachs balanced with that uh, as I was saying earlier with that uh, lushy watery grass um, so yeah I'm five head less in this herd the culls are at home so I'm trying to see exactly uh, what I can get or what rotation I can get. Now the grass or the land that I have left behind me is growing so there definitely is growth albeit slower at this time of the year. Now these are not even hungry but they're anxious to get that bit of hay. Well they're doing more trampling on it than uh, eating it. Well they are eating it. That noise in the background is my girls. <laughs> yeah but uh so that is the story. So they were on this the day before yesterday. Yeah. So they're full looking. I'm judging by their stomachs. They're full when I arrive. And I give them that bit of hay. We're due rain tonight. It's been dry the last few days. Uh, we're due rain tonight. So it's a sheltery place for them in the trees on the lower side of them there. So yeah, I'm happy enough. And what I'll do is tomorrow morning now I let them in across that fence. I give them half it. So I'm trying to drag an extra day out of this bit of the field here. That's what I'm at. I want to slow down the rotation completely. Um, the slower I can go now, the more grass I can grow. Um, even though I'm eating it down that little bit tight, um, what I am on, it's early enough in the autumn for it to regrow. So yeah, that's my theory and that's what I'm doing at the minute <laughs> so yeah if that makes sense so we've 19 head here and we've another five then back home i'm going to check in a while but, uh, yeah i'm happy enough though that they haven't et this down too tight you can notice that they are starting to nip the rushes that's a real sign that they're starting to run tight so a couple of square bales of hay will uh tie them over and keep them warm tonight. I think there's rain coming, as I say. So yeah, that is all the news at the minute. On the 23rd of September, a short little video. For now, I will say, good luck and goodbye.